Good morning guys. Okay, so plan for today. We are planning to go just to the beach in here Sanisas. However, on the way there we changed our mind and we took a bus and we came to Malia. We just uh, got off the bus. It's like 15 minutes maybe, 10-15 minutes bus drive and the ticket is I think Euro 60 or something like that. Um, we'll see what is there to, to see. I'm gonna get crushed by the scooter. Okay, so yeah, uh, well, we're just making our way to the beach now to explore the Malia. Apparently it's a sandy beach, so we'll just came to check it out. And yeah, I'll give you an update once we're there. Impressions. It looks a bit different than here, Sonisas. This street is quite nice. I'm not sure if this street hopefully is gonna take it down to the beach. It seems super quiet. I don't know, is it just because it's uh, like 11 am? Maybe everyone's still sleeping. But yeah, it's super quiet. It's like a ghost town. There is no one around. I see there is loads of restaurants and stuff and shops but all of them seems to clo be closed so yeah, it seems like they're all closed maybe they're open only in the afternoon but by the look of it from the outside I don't think that's the case I think the season is didn't start yet um, yeah, in regards to that I noticed that uh, first day when we got here it was super quiet and then day by day it's getting busier and busier um, since the first I think or so uh, scooter uh, since the uh, first of July it started getting much busier and um, yeah even here in Hersonisos it's much more crowded now and the beach is much much crowder crowded as well as the restaurants and bars the first night when we walk uh, by the coast there is plenty of restaurants and there were let's say half empty if not completely empty but last night when we walked down the coast pretty much all the bars were full so it was a big change so I'm assuming that uh, the season here starts only 1st of July Okay, we'll keep walking down to the beach. One other thing that we noticed, the beach is not that close like in Hersonisos. In Hersonisos, from the main street, beach is like two minutes walking, just one of the side streets and you're there. Here, this doesn't seem to be the case. And it seems like you're going downhill all, all this time, so it's gonna be fun going up back to the bus station later. Still keep walking. We ended up in Second Street, but yes, this street seems like it's full of clubs and bars and stuff. So I'm assuming it's night time. Uh, this is gonna be crazy. But yeah, my first impression: the beach from the city center all the way up from the top is a bit far away. To be honest, I've been walking like five, ten minutes already. 
and I don't see the end yet or the beach yet so there is some lux with the club whatever that is I hope we're going to the right direction oh yeah I see some paragliders there in the sky so I'm assuming the beach is there Here. They look better than the ones in here, so this is. I'm really wondering how it is during the night time. I'm assuming it's probably crowded. Malia is known for being a party place, so I'm assuming this time this town gets alive like 7 8 pm when everyone comes in comes back from the beach and start partying but now it's like super dead it does remind me a little bit of Zakynthos of Laganas if anyone has been there like the main street there There is a hotel with a pool, which is not working, the water is green. My god, this beach is really far away. Yeah, Kings 2, I just saw the sign, they are open from 6 p.m. till 5 in the morning, so definitely this town gets alive on Yabba. the evening Yabba. or afternoon I can see the sea from here at least so 15 minutes later we finally making our way to the beach please pleasure beach free entrance okay let's see there is different kind of beach bars I guess I don't know how much are umbrellas and chairs some beds I'll we'll check it out Let's see what do we have here and how is it? But yeah, we're getting closer. We have a little windmill here. Artificial one or just as a decoration. Hey guys, I can see the water looks cool from here. I don't know is it big waves or not. We'll have to find out about it. But the color looks pretty. I have no idea where we are now. Which side of the beach we are. Seems like we're in the wrong part of the beach, but let's see. Taken. There should be some island there as well in the middle, which you can swim to. Oh yeah, I can see the there. Yay, we finally made it to the beach. The public beach. And it seems crowded to be honest. 
give you first impressions. Beautiful this is check this guys it's so amazing there is a little church there I'm just gonna go there now and a great park yeah let's go see the church oh this sand is hot I'm not sure I'm gonna make it to the church without burning my feet Check the clear colors because my GoPro might be dirty. Hopefully, you will be able. So cool. Alright, now it's time to get back into the sea and it's a bit slippery so we need to be really careful my mom hit her toe oh my god, this is really slippery Hey guys, so I'll give you an update. It's just after 7 now. The sun slowly started going down. It's a beautiful sunset. You know, we'll be able to see it. I don't even know what I'm seeing here. It should be somewhere there, anyway. Um, yeah, today was a pretty amazing day. Our impressions of Malaya. Uh, this is a place. I'll be saying you that because I googled it before but I can confirm as well uh, there is a lot of younger people here in, Her in Hersonitsos as well it's known as a party place but I think more popular for partying is here in Malia there is like a lot of um, young people here and they were all like playing in the water, drinking, having fun in the bars 
uh, when we were walking down to the beach, I saw lots of lots of clubs, which were there closed. But I'm assuming now on the way back up, maybe they slowly is gonna start opening, or maybe even later. I don't know. But yeah, uh, impressions of the beach. The beach itself, it's uh, amazing. It's a sandy beach, as you can see here. The water temperature is awesome. I just checked online and it's 26.6 Celsius degrees, which is super, super warm. And you can just jump straight into the sea. You don't even have to like um, warm up or you don't have to have chills when you're jumping in, you know? You know what I mean. So basically you can just uh, jump straight into it. Uh, just across the beach there is this um, island, like a mini islet actually. And Google it, it's built, well, it's built in 19, not 19, sorry, 1650s uh, from the volcanic eruption of Thera, which is Volcano on Santorini. Okay. And the camera so this is the island uh, just over there and you can even swim there on the island itself there is a small church and there is nothing else except the church but the surroundings of it the water is so clear it's amazing I me to me the sunset if you can see it it's so nice um, yeah the water here is super clear uh, in the beginning here by the coast there is some uh, algae I think but not that much like a seaweed or something but it's not terrible as soon as you walk like a meter or two uh, it's super clear after the camera back then so I well, almost dropped my phone um, so yeah it's pretty relaxed and chill day I really did like it here and uh, I think I might come back at least one more time depending on our schedule um, it's quite close actually from our hotel stay we took a public bus the price is I think 160 180 something like that it's three something for two of us so it's not even that bad it takes like 10-15 minutes to get here by bus and where the bus drops you well where the we got off the bus, we took another 10-15 minutes walking down the street to get to the beach and it's kind of going downhill so it's gonna be fun going up now but yeah we'll see maybe I'll make a video about it as well and yeah that's pretty much it I'm not sure we're gonna wait for the sunset to, uh, sun to go all the way down or probably we're gonna start packing slowly because it's already probably 7.30 or something, something like that and we're gonna head up and to grab a bus and go back to our hotel but yeah all in all it was a pretty amazing day and yeah i cannot wait to come back here ah, last sight on this beautiful beach sunset time so nice. And this is the way we took. We came from the Malia city center. So if you keep walking this direction, you'll just get uh, downtown or city center, or whatever. As you can see, it's a little bit uphill. So yeah, let's see. Good luck to us. All right, guys, we're walking back from the beach now. And this street is super empty still. I mean, the beach was crowded all day. Super crowded. Probably most crowded from all the ones that we saw this trip. But surprisingly, this main street is so empty, like there is no one. Okay, in this part there is some people sitting eating. But like it's a ghost town. I don't know what are all these people doing. But yeah, let's see. We'll keep walking. We have like 10 15 minutes up the street, so maybe it's gonna change later. Let's see. Still 
unbelievably quiet here. It's like 8.15 now and it's super quiet, it's like there is no one here. But the clubs seems to be start opening slowly. They're setting up now. So I guess later on during the night the streets gonna be buzzing. Unfortunately, I won't be here to see that. Maybe next time. You know, when I was planning vacation, um, two options were to go either to Mercedes or to go here to Malia. Price-wise, the accommodation is pretty much the same. And we chose um, we chose Hesonisos because of the accommodation. It was just the city center, two minutes from the beach. Shops are like 80 meters away from the accommodation, so we are pretty much like downtown. And that's why we choose that one. But now, seeing the beach here, this beach is way much nicer than the one in Hesonisos. Okay, Star Beach has a, like a special vibe, but the beach itself, this one is sandy. The beach itself, this one is um, a sandy beach, and the water is way much warmer, even if the horizon is only like five kilometers away, maybe not even that. Um, so yeah, it's pretty different to the place we are staying, but that's okay. We know for the next time. Next time, if I would choose to come uh, to this uh, part of the island, I would uh, definitely choose Malia, probably. And one other thing that we notice here, one other thing that we notice is that uh, sun is um, staying way much above us. I know the. Sorry, the, my mom is asking me something. Uh, yeah, the, the sun is uh, staying up higher here. I mean, it's facing uh, directly to the, to the beach. While in Hersonisos, it's behind you, so it goes above the hill faster. So in Hersonisos, in some places, after 5 p.m., you don't even have light. Like, uh, you're already in the shadows. Not light, it's one word. You're already in the shadow, and there is no sun at all. While here we stayed till like about 8 p.m. and it's still super sunny so you can still stay there, watch the sunset and swim. It's probably the best now for swimming. And one other thing that we notice, uh, which is downside for this place, is the prices here are much higher than the one in Hirschtonisus, surprisingly. Some of the prices are almost double for the some items that I remember prices from Hirschtonisus. So yeah, I don't know why is that. But on the bright side, the sunbeds are cheaper here. We paid two, um, two sunbeds with umbrella, six euros, while in Hirschtonisus they are ten. So there is some ups and downs, like everywhere. But yeah, I think I would choose this place for the next vacation stop, if I would ever come back to the same, same place here. Which is highly likely it's gonna happen. I, so far, I really like the crit. I've been before to other places, to the other side of the island, but never to this one, and I'm pretty impressed with this side as well. So, I can see myself coming back here, why not? Yeah, I think we're already halfway to the... halfway to the bus station. It's still pretty quiet around. Huh? There is some looking shops or bars yeah still pretty quiet I think it's gonna pick up later only and yeah that's it um, check with you later